Chief, time for a change. Vote for Albert. Time for a change. Uh, she's relentless. No kidding. Time for a change. I'm not going to tell you again, Sarah. This is federal property. No problem. Vote for Albert. Time for a change. Albert for Chief. Four more days. Yeah. If I'm reelected, one of the things that I'd like to do is to uh, turn the tannery into a workshop for crafts. Pass me that. We can give you some decent lighting, some good tables and chairs. Maybe even sell this stuff ourselves. And once Jerry give you 50 bucks, we could get 150 down south. You would rather have 150, wouldn't you? No, they're for my nephew. It's not right. I'm not saying cut Jerry out. I'm just saying that we... People shouldn't have to move away when they get old. Jerry? Nelikija. Just because her eyes are bad, she shouldn't have to move to Yellowknife. She doesn't have to move to Yellowknife. That's where she's going. <laughs> That's where her kids are. They want to look after her. She doesn't know anyone there. We should look after Nelly here. That's our way. Got any lights yet? No. Make a note of that. What? Lights. Anything else you need? For the rink? The rink? The rec center? Well, uh... Could use a decent sound system. Write that down. And some weights. I gotta pee. Hold on. I said lights, not helmets. The brains need helmets. So does hers. <laughs> so you're really gonna get us that stuff for a while? I'll do my best. Yeah, that's what Peter said. I'm not Peter. You're getting suckered, kid. Up yours. Why should he do anything for you? You can't even vote. Hi, pumpkin. Oh, what's up? Look at you. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. What a doll. I grew huh? in since I was here last time. You sure did. Who's this stranger? Huh? Who's this guy? Do I know you? Further. Dad, put me down. Oh, that's right, that's right. He's too old for that stuff, huh? What should we do with him, huh? What do you think? Come here. Mommy said I sleep in there. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. All right, okay, you guys, time out. Time but she out. didn't. Okay. I got something for you. For you, sir. And for you, my dear. Wow. You like it, honey? Yeah. What do you think? It's used. Oh, well, Joe just made it for you. The old guy? Mm -hmm, yeah, that's a letter opener. Neat. So, I sleep in there with you, right? <laughs> no. No, you get to sleep in my bedroom. Aww. Well, at least you get the big bed. I got a bunk with Andy. Well, I'm going to sleep with you. I'm going to keep both these pillows, and I'm going to put my shoes in the cupboard, and my sweater in the drawers, and my T-shirt, too. Hey, Albert! You're going to win, you know. Maybe. Everybody's sick of Peter. Paris, too. Not everybody. How's the baby? It's okay. So, maybe I could work for you. What's her name? Kaya. You know, uh, I could talk to people. You know. Who's gonna listen?
Elsa go for the craft co-op? Her eyes glazed over, and my eyes glazed over. Look, it'll work. You may not like them, but co-ops work. These are make-work jobs. We need real ones. Why don't you use worms like everybody else? What do you mean, moron? You can catch a fish with a worm. Well, we gotta do something, because Albert's got people listening. What's he saying? Whatever they want to hear, even if it's lies. But we gotta make them wear the booze. No. Nobody's buying booze from Albert anymore. <laughs> that's what sons are for. Nathan is not Albert. At least that's what Willie says. Well, we just got to make them remember the bad old days, Albert Golo's Bannock Republic. Oh, sure. Let's sling a little mud. Let's dig a little deeper into the gutter. No, but we got to get you off your high horse and remind people that a vote for Albert is a vote for violence, corruption, booze. I am not running on Albert's record. I'm running on mine. Well, right now, your record is a tannery. Little Plume Lake and Fort George are the latest bands to lower the voting age to 16. So? So? Why can't we? We'd get to vote. Well, I'm not 16. Me and Joey, then. What for? Because they'd have to listen to us. But gotta stick together. Why? Because that's how it works, stupid. You with me? Here we go. Lisa, you remember Hannah? Yeah. What are you guys making? I'm making friendship bracelets. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe you can make one for your dad. One for you and one for Mommy. Okay. Well, what am I supposed to do? That. Well, you could watch a video. Okay. I'm not going to be very long. I thought you said we'd do stuff. We will, Andy. I just got to finish off some paperwork. Can we go for a snowmobile ride? Sure. Can I drive? Yes, you can drive. Cool. Have fun. Whoa, Andy's gonna drive a snowmobile. Screw you. Last time, last time he drove a snowmobile, he crashed it. You crash it, not me. Me? Yeah. Would I crash a snowmobile? No way. Anyway, you got any bootlegs? Like what? Videos. You know, the Guns N' Roses concert. Guns N' Roses? Yeah, my friends get them in from Regina. Mm. Guns N' Roses. Hot off the satellite. Here, have a button. Have a button. Have a button. I hear you've been promising the trappers higher prices. Not me. The Independent Trappers Association. Right. Fifty grand, Albert. That's what I lost in the tannery. If they start paying higher prices, no one's going to sell to me. Good point. So? Raise your prices. So, uh, band manager down at Nelson. Saw Albert there last week. Stocking up. What for? If he wins, it's going to turn the town wet again. Yeah, but they've postponed three times. My kids are here, Alan. I haven't seen them in five months. I'm only asking for a week. Yeah. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Hi. Hi. Oh, I gotta go to Yellowknife. Hanson's finally going to trial. Damn it. I don't know, maybe I can make some arrangements for the hotel. I... Mendy's not gonna like that. Well, they're not going home. I haven't seen them in five months. They just got here. They can stay with me. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Who likes cold pizza? I know. You're weird. Hey, guys, uh, I have a problem, and maybe you can help me out. I gotta go to court in Yellowknife. Means I gotta fly out this afternoon. 
testify tomorrow. And I might even have to stay another day. I knew it. I don't like it any more than you do. But there's nothing I can do about it. It's part of my job. Well, who's going to take care of us? Well, I already talked to Michelle, and she said that you can stay at her place. What's wrong? I said we were going to do things this time. Well, we will, Andy, as soon as I get back. Yeah, sure. Well, you want to go fishing? Joe can take you. I don't want to go fishing with Joe. Well, then you're going to have to wait until I... You always screw things up. Kelly, your ankles are swollen. You're not taking your water pills. Her eyes aren't too good. Sometimes she can't find her pills. Well, then she needs help. A little slippy, isn't it? We can manage. No, they're listening. I'm just not saying the right thing. I mean, I think I have to say something simple, you know, something they can relate to. Albert. Come on. It's like they've forgotten who he is. He's not fooling anybody. But he's not. Maybe in the old days, but not now. What's this? A scraper. David found it, gave it to Hannah. Bedtime, Hannah. From one of his digs? Yeah. The Horn Plateau. Let's go, guys. Don't you want coffee? No, thanks. Brush your teeth, comb your hair, and into bed. No. Come on, Andy. Let's make you a bed. It's not my bedtime. I'm afraid it is. Hannah's got school in the morning, and I've got to be in the office early. Let's go. I brought my own. It's okay. You can use these. I want to use mine. Why? Because my mom said that Indians have lice. Bye. Bye. Make sure it's okay for Lisa to join the class. Okay. Bye, Lisa. Bye. Andy? Andy? What you said last night bothered me. Lots of Indians at my school have lice. Well, lots of white kids get lice, too. That stuff hurts. It makes people feel small. I don't like hearing it from you or anyone else. Understood? Yeah, sorry. You remember David, the archaeologist? Well, his report gives us claim to the Horn Plateau. Why? We always trapped out there. Yeah, well, now we have proof. If there's any oil or diamond... Diamond? They found some yellow man. Exactly. So, maybe it's time for us to start thinking about land claim negotiations. Why is he talking about diamonds? It's me. Should be talking about a home for Nelly Keisha. <laughs> this thing with Nelly is really getting to her. She talked to Peter about it? We tried. He got into this long thing about special hospital facilities and all the therapists and nurses you need. Well, all we need is a group home. We're only talking about five or six people here. Who'd look after them? Well, they can handle whatever they can. The rest will get volunteers. I'd go in. Leon could do a little extra hunting. Yeah, and Mary could go in once a week, make sure they're all healthy. Still need a building. Hmm. Tannery's empty. Talk to Peter. Lisa! Lisa! Come on! Where are we going? Come on! What's the matter? I told 
told you, don't touch them. Come on. Oh, come on. Why'd he do that? Maybe they had something they had to do. No, we didn't. Lisa said she wanted to go to the rec center. Don't worry about it, okay? And he doesn't like us, does he? Have you done your homework? I won't be long. So what they say? It's on the agenda. We'll never pass it. Yes, we will. I'm going to the meeting. And when we get the vote, we get rid of Peter. You mean vote for Albert? Duh. No way. He's a bootlegger. We stick together, remember? That's how we make things happen? I'm not voting for Albert. Me neither. My old man had to kill me. So you're too young. But Albert promised us lights, man. Lights! So did Peter. Yeah, but Peter's a liar. I just want to get rid of Harris. Forget it then, okay? So why can't we vote for Peter? Because Albert will deal with us. And Peter won't. Now, you with me or not? I'm not saying it's a bad idea. In fact, I think it's a great idea. But it's, it's just not as simple as it sounds. Why not? Because the money from the tannery comes from industry and commerce, and the money for a group home would have to come from health. So? So they're different departments, different budgets. It's all government. You can't take... You can't take money from one department to pay for something that belongs to another department. It doesn't belong to them. It belongs to us. It's just going to sit there empty. They're not going to let us do this. Why not? Don't tell them. Rosie. Michelle said we could do it. Michelle! It... Michelle should have talked to me first. Leon says we got everything we need. By the time they find out, it'll be too late. I don't think they'd throw us out. We can't. It's just not the way things won't help us with the home. Really? This budget's got nothing to do with that budget. He wasn't listening. Well, he listens, but sometimes it's hard to do things. You need to have the right attitude. Peter doesn't have it anymore. It's time for a change. Not Albert. Someone with the right attitude. Peter has the right attitude. He's tired. The tannery's been hard on him. Then he should rest. We have someone else in mind. Who? You. Me? I, I can. You'd be a good chief. She knows what people need. She's not a stupid politician. She's a good hunter. Morning, Jerry. Morning, Chief. You got my vote. I'm not running. Tell that to your uh, constituents. Thank you, but I've got a job. People change jobs. Are you running now? I'm not running. She can beat Albert. Peter can't. Hi. Hi. Is 
I need to. She already knows. Knows what? It's not true. So this is just one of those ugly little rumors that materializes out of thin air, right? You want to know what it comes out of? Nelly Keisha. We need an old folks home. You want me to lie to these people and make promises I can't keep? No, make promises you will keep. You have no idea. Yes, I do. All it needs is an open mind and a little imagination. Are you running for something, Ms. Kennedy? Daycare, not diamond mine. Get the message? Oh, good, you're back. Good. You still work here. So is it true you're running? No. Honest to God, I'm moving to Yellowknife. Yeah? Well, you'd hate the traffic. Listen, I just need to know if it's true. It's not true, okay? Oh, fine. So how are the kids? Fine. Ah, that's, uh... That's not what it sounded like. What happened? Michelle? Kid stuff. You know. Kid stuff. Yeah. Oh, sick. Judy Piercy tells us that's why people hey. are banding together to fight the problem. Well, I still only got the two channels. There's nothing on ever. Why don't you get your own satellite dish? Well, because then I have 50 million channels and there'd still be nothing on. I'm gonna go out. I'd like to talk to you first. About what? about what happened at Michelle's the other night. Nothing. Well, that's not exactly what I heard. Dad, can I go over to the rec center? Sure, honey. I just want to hear about the other night first. I told you, nothing happened. Is that your version, too? Be right there. Okay. The voting age across the north is 18. Read it, man. Two communities just lowered the age to 16. So why can't we? Why should we? Because this election's about the future, and the future's about me. And Joey, and Bertha, and Leonard, and my kid. So you're telling me that I shouldn't have something to say about that? All of a sudden, he's a concerned father. My, my, my. The election's already been called. You should have brought this up two weeks ago. It, it makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. Moved that the legal voting age for banned elections in Lynx River be lowered to 16 immediately. All in favor? Yeah. Heads, you're a brilliant strategist. Tails, you've lost your mind. If they care enough to get involved, they deserve to vote. And this administration gave them that right. That'll look good in your political obituary.
What's going on, sweetheart? Andy won't let me play with Hannah and them, and now they won't play with me. Told me not to tell. I got the boat. Yeah, I heard. I made a speech. Really got him going. They'd all vote for you if I tell them. People was the boat from the heart. Yeah, right. Now, you got one problem. The booze. That's old news. Well, that's not what I heard. No? What did you hear? Harris. Harris is really laying it on thick about the bad old days. People are listening. They're not buying her out of the business. Harris is a jerk. Yeah, I know. What's wrong with them getting the vote? You're as bad as Peter. TV doesn't give a good goddamn about the vote. This is about me. Peter loses, I'm out of here. Maybe he'll vote for Michelle. Michelle is not running. So where is our little suffragette? Hey, Harris. What's up? Where were you? Walking, thinking. So tell me, Trevor, was this your idea or Albert's? Maybe you should vote for Michelle. Harris could keep his job. Yeah, right. Have you got even the foggiest notion of what's going to happen to this town if Albert wins? Do you even care? You know why Peter gave you the vote? Because he believes in you. You know why he gave us the vote? Because he can count. Peter can do things for you, TV, and so can I. Things that matter. <laughs> Albert's a liar. Any deal you think you cut with him ain't worth shit. You know what my first reaction was? Mm -hmm. I quit. Thanks. And then I said to myself, no, this is too important. Am I going to run or not? Are you going to start listening? <laughs> listen? <laughs> listen, that's all I do is listen. When am I going to get my house? Where's the daycare? Why don't we have a treatment center? Well, let's have a group home. Oh, Jesus, Mitch. The community feels... Well, what about what I feel? I'm trying to make something out of this place. Give people security. Be financial, social, emotional. I mean, I have to look at the big picture. All they're worried about is bullshit. It's not bullshit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, it's bullshit. Then forget about the grand scheme. Focus on the pieces. And when did you become the expert? I've been doing this job for five years. Don't start telling me what this is all about. I am trying to have a conversation with you, and you are making it very hard. I don't need your conversation. I need your support. Oh, is that how it works? You run, and I stand on the sidelines and cheer? It's not what I mean. Oh, of course not. That's just the way it's supposed to be. Come on, Mitch. Screw you. know what's going to happen if both our names are on that ballot. Are you mad at Hannah? You're mad at something. Andy, unless you talk to me, I don't know what's bugging you. You don't want to know. Yes, I do. No, you don't, because you wouldn't be here if you did. You know I love you, even if I don't live with you. That's right, you don't live with me. Bill does. Bill moved in? Three weeks ago. How's that going? They're having fun. What about you? Do you like him? Andy? He doesn't even talk to me. Well, I talk to you. Anytime, day or night, whether I'm next door or on the moon, you call me. Uh, is this why you've been so hard on Lisa? I don't do anything to Lisa. You don't let her play with Hannah. 
Because she shouldn't, okay? Well, why shouldn't she? You just said she shouldn't play with Hannah. Now, why shouldn't she? You know. No, I don't know. You know, they give you stuff. What are you talking about? They give you license fees because they don't wash. And they get drunk all the time and they use drugs and they smell. And she shouldn't play with them, okay? You don't talk like that. Everyone else does. I don't care what anybody else does. You don't say that. Everyone at school does. Bill does. I don't care what Bill does, Andy. You don't say that. Mom does, and you used to. In Vancouver, we used to talk like that all the time. You know, there's that stuff I did in Vancouver. Things I said, they were wrong. I was wrong. You make mistakes. And if you're lucky, you learn better. I was lucky to come here, Andy. I've learned a lot. No, you were wrong to come here. This whole place is crap, and I'm never coming back. This isn't working. Going home now? Would you like to go home, honey? Are you going to come with us? I don't have a warehouse in Port Nelson. I have no supplies there. I haven't even been there in months. I don't know how these rumors got started, but I'd like to put an end to them. My family and I are out of the booze business. And we will support the ban against alcohol in Lynx River. If you choose me as your chief, I will uphold it. I will enforce it. It will apply to everyone. All right, Albert. Woo! Woo! Vote for Albert. Time for a change. Vote for Albert. Albert for Prefer a booze down Main Street. We could bust him right now. Vote for Albert. Albert for chief. Any other good ideas? Albert for chief. It's time for... Chief? Vote for Albert. It's time for... Actually, you'd make the best chief, wouldn't you? Albert is good, but Michelle is better. Albert is good, but Michelle is better. You have to withdraw publicly, and you have to do it now. Michelle is better. Albert is good, but Michelle is better. That was cool. You caught him. Didn't mean much. People want to drink, they'll drink. Yeah, but you got all my guys' votes now. I guarantee. Here. What's this? Oh, just a few things we could use. Who's we? The youth of Lynx River. <laughs> you should vote for Michelle. <laughs> I should quit doing that. Andy said something to you. Didn't he? Why didn't you tell me? What for? Because I needed to know. What if I didn't find out or I found out too late? He's a kid. He says what he hears. He's my kid. And I guess he heard some of it from me. I'm not the same person I used to be. But then neither are my kids. I don't know them anymore. You're doing the best you can. Am I? Tell me something. What if your ex had Hannah and you only saw her once or twice a year and you realized that she was turning into something that you couldn't live with? What would you do? You 
couldn't bring them up here? Doesn't look good, eh? Dumping the booze. What are we going to do? One night. Eric's thinking about leaving. For good? He's worried about his kids. <laughs> Nothing like options, eh? You can run the detachment, or you can run the town. Um, could I? Everybody, listen up. I just want to say I appreciate the support you've shown me. But I'm not running for chief. Your votes are very important tomorrow. And I got to ask you, don't waste them. Vote for Peter. All right. Register at the desk on your right as you go in. Voting booth is over to the left. One at a time. Time for a change. For all of us, I guess. Just so you know, I'll understand if you go. But I want you to stay. She wasn't running. Nobody wanted to listen. You should probably go say something. You should have told them sooner. You should have made them understand. I did. We only needed 10 votes. You took 35 away from him. You think I did this to you on purpose? I did it to myself. I think I got what I deserved. We can't let him wreck it, Mitch. I just need some time. Sorry, I'm clean out. Lewis? Not out celebrating? Gotta put an administration together. I'll make sure the books are nice and clean for you. Six months left on your contract. Might as well finish it off. Don't screw with me, Albert. We need continuity. Peter understands that. 
So? Yeah, sure. Good. We wanted to say goodbye. See you, Lisa. I hope you come visit me in Weyburn. Sleep in my room. Give me a kiss. I'm coming to see you guys real soon. I promise. Cross your heart? Cross my heart a hundred times. Take care of yourself. Is that some kind of signal? So your wrist doesn't get sore. The queen does it. Good for her. So why are you? Because I'm first lady of Lynx River. You think I'm gonna have troubles with Albert? Should not worry. Maybe. What are you gonna do about your kids? Thank you. 